Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to merge more than two PowerPoint documents together using the Cloudmersive Document Conversion Connector in Power Automate. This tool is really convenient and easy to use, and all I'm going to do here is reverse the document splitting process I demonstrated in another video. Let's start off on the Flow Diagram page with an instant cloud flow set up. We can get here by clicking Create from the Power Automate homepage and selecting the Instant Cloud Flow option. The first thing we need to do is select the option to manually trigger our flow. Once we do that, we can click Add an Input and include manual file input fields. I'm going to combine three PowerPoint documents into one, so I'm setting up three separate file input fields. Triggering our flow this way means we can reuse this button repeatedly with different files, but it's worth noting that we can also target specific files in our storage system by using multiple get file content actions instead. Let's now click New Step and type Cloudmersive into the search bar. From the list of options below, let's select the Document Conversion Connector with the lime green logo. Once we click on this action, we'll need to provide authorization details to access the actions list which I'm currently looking at. We just need to name our connection and provide a free tier API key which we can get by registering a free account on the Cloudversive website. That's the same key that I'm currently using and it will allow up to 800 API calls per month with no additional commitment through a public cloud connection. Once we reach the actions list, let's search for Merge Multiple PowerPoint and review our options. We walked through the option to merge only two documents in a past video, so let's make sure we leave that one alone and select the Merge Multiple option instead. Configuring our request is super easy. All we need to do is enter the various dynamic file content options we have available from our trigger step into each of our file input fields. We can do this for as many as 10 documents at a time, and even more if we customize our request body more extensively. For the file name fields, we can just enter random names followed by the PowerPoint PPTX extension for each of our input files. We can now click New Step one more time and search for the Create File action that aligns with the application we want to store our output file in. Let's make sure we name our file with a PowerPoint extension, and let's also make sure we select Dynamic Content labeled Output Content for our File Content field. Now that our flow is finished, let's go ahead and click Save. Once that wraps up, let's click Test and initiate our manual test. After we confirm our connections, we can import each file we want to combine and we'll end up with exactly this same order in our resulting document. Once we're done with that, we can click Run Flow. When our test wraps up, let's visit the folder we saved our new document in. We should have a new PowerPoint document here combining all of our original PowerPoint presentations. My example is really straightforward, but you can use this to combine much larger presentations and separate them with sections after the fact. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more Power Automate tips and demonstrations in the near future.